crafty friends Lacey here the cheeky bum and i have this timu envelope that has been sitting on my desk for a while i had ordered it before i went on vacation which was over a week ago so basically i ordered this stuff like a month ago and i have some idea of what's in it and um some things that i don't remember um so let's get into it i don't it's not a huge haul there's only a few things in here um but i had some credit that i wanted to use and like i don't like my credit to sit there for too long just in case like i don't know they take it away for some reason i don't know but anyway i don't like it to sit there too long so i will show you what i get so i'm just gonna start pulling some stuff out so i got a pack of these stickers to put on my packaging it says warning opening this package will cause extreme happiness i thought they were cute um i want to get more uh i know that i can make my own stickers but i don't have a color printer right now i still need one but i don't know what one i want to get um i also got and i usually have pricing for you but i just i'm, I'm not feeling like it i got a pack of these little clips for dangles and stuff like that I think I just got random colors, but they're actually pretty, like, Christmassy colors, so that's most likely what I'll end up using them for. Oh, I got some paper, some, like, textured textile type of paper, fiber paper, um, um, that I had probably planned on using for Halloween stuff, but I, I, you know, I haven't got there yet. So there's this one. I don't really care for this like fiber right in the middle there, but it's kind of cool. Up from the side, you can't really see it as much. I don't know if they're all the same. Uh, yeah, pretty much. They're all the same. But so it looks like <laughs> almost like, um, like broom bristles or like hairbrush bristles <laughs> that's what it, it kind of feels like um I haven't worked with this so I don't know how well this will cut um or anything like that but I thought it was kind of creepy and something I could add to my paper stash oh, what else do we got in here? I got some little bloody knives I'm in a horror um, movie swap, so I'm pretty sure all of us have <laughs> purchased these um, little charms, but um, I'll probably use them for Halloween next year. Oh, they do have a protective little little film on some of the handle parts. I'm sure you see that. So it's got like a protective film right there. So that's nice. Nice little arrangement of butcher knives, kitchen knives, uh, saws. So, you know, I had something to do with that. Mm -hmm. I got this nutcracker die. Um, I will try to find a picture of this because it looked really cute and you can, it's a tag. Pretty sure it's a tag. But it was really cute. I think it was three something or maybe four something um but yeah I thought he was cute and I really do like nutcrackers so I thought I'd give him a shot I got this paper crimper um I thought about getting a bigger one um, but I wanted to play with this first because the bigger ones don't always have the best reviews. And I thought that this would be good for making tiny rosettes. I really like to make tiny rosettes, but it's hard. <laughs> you know, they're, they're not the easiest thing to make. But I thought that this, um, this might work. Let's see if I have a piece of paper. I actually do have a piece. Oh, that's going to be too wide. Oh, here's one. Let's try this. Let's see how I want it. I know it's more for like quilling, like the quilling paper art. Now it's just trying to like hold it and put the paper in and move it at the same time. Oops, like this. So look at that. And I don't know this. So it has two different ones. So this is tighter. Um, 
than this one. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I think this might be too tight to attempt to make a rosa out of, but I don't know. I'll play with it. Let's see here. I got some of these. Um, if you watch any of my videos before, um, I like to use these with um, my inking to ink edges and stuff or like little crevices. Uh, I think these work great compared to like the, the bigger ink daubers. So I like these and these were super cheap. Um, I don't really care for them to be double ended. I really like the single ended ones, um, but I'll, I'll play with them. They'll work, they'll, they'll work, they'll be just fine. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, these are like little kind of like door knocker things um, that you can put on the outside of or like the spines of uh, your album so that you can hang dangles or something like that. Um, they're just kind of some little findings that I thought that I would try to play with. Uh, they come in all different colors, but I got gold. So you have the screw that goes on one side and then this screws in like this they do have more like some that are like the brad style um but i thought that i would get this one because it just seemed more secure so that's those i got some little jelly beads and they're just kind of matte and they're kind of bright pastel colors this one didn't come out so great. Might be able to trim that off with some um, snips. But they're cute and nice bright colors. I got some vintage Halloween earrings. I probably will not wear these type of earrings, um, but I got them so I could make charms out of them or something like that. Um, if I do decide to make them into earrings, I would have to change this out for hypoallergenic. I can't wear these like cheap ones that'll make my ears itch like no other but they're really cute um these are like spinners or they they're called swivel swivel bearings but i thought that i could use these so I've, I've, I've been playing with like the slides and the gliders. If you watch my like uh, Ouija board um, Memdex uh, video, and this is similar. So it's got a little groove, but it's supposed to, if you stick one side, one side is still supposed to, I can't tell. Yeah, so, so it still spins. So if it's glued in spot, I could still glue something to this and it will still spin around. So that's the that's the idea. So I'm gonna play with these. I know I'm not the only one that's hauled these, and I think um, had I watched somebody haul these, I don't know if I would have gotten them. But I think it was Craft Purge that I seen haul these, and it was already after I had ordered them. Um, but I thought that they would be a little bit more dimensional, and I don't really care for this like this color combo um but you know th they're cute they'll get used for something um, i got this little mini flower die um i love making little mini flowers um but i don't like i'm not like i i, I don't mind receiving them and stuff like that the rolled flowers i just don't care to make those I, I like either like being able to stack them and stuff like that so I got this one and it has quite a few different styles that I thought I'd give it a go and I'm pretty sure this was pretty pretty cute um I got this mold this resin mold and like I said I'm in a horror movie swap so um it's a little bit bigger than I thought, but that's fine. I think that this will still be fun. Uh, I think it will still make some fun keychains. So I'm going to try to play around with this. I got one of those like 
like torn edges, um, like bag toppers, but you don't have to use it as a bag topper. It just kind of looks like torn edging, like parchment type of die. Um, I think this could be interesting to play with and do some other things other than like a bag topper with. I also got this like um, library pocket die. Um, it's just been in my cart for a while and I just decided I would go ahead and purchase it so I can make some kind of like Christmas little tag pockets or something like that. So there's that. Almost done here. What else do I have? Did I order this twice? Apparently I have two of these. Oh, huh. I guess I'll, I'll keep one so I can give that away in like a swap or something. And then I have another one. Hmm. I don't know if I accidentally put two in or if uh, they gave me an extra one. We'll have to see. Um, these are Harry Potter stickers. I love Harry Potter. So I've seen these stickers and they had also been in my cart for a while. But I thought I'd go ahead and get them. So they're just little envelopes. This one's a little bent up. A little potion vial. These are like a, a book and quill. More books. Magnifying glass. Um, like ink bottle. Cauldron. Lantern. Some little glasses. Scroll. Some flying keys. What we have here, we have a little owl with a witch hat on a stack of books. Very Harry Potter-ish. Um, candles. We have a little snitch. And another potion bottle. This is Felix Felicis. So I have Harry Potter paper. I just haven't made any Harry Potter paper crafts yet. So I think that is one of my goals after probably after the holidays you know i have a lot of christmas swaps coming up so probably after that i will play around with some harry potter stuff now this is like a bead roller um like um clay roller but it'll roll them into shaped beads so i've got some clay i haven't worked with clay in a while but um i want to try to start making some some of my own beads Let's see. It's kind of stuck together. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it apart. Oops. Um, anyway, I might have to play with this or run it under some warm... Oh, there we go. I just didn't want to crack it. So it has this wheel here. And you kind of put it in there. And you put this on the side. No, not quite. Hmm. Of course, I'm sure that there's no instructions. But anyway, the, the idea is that you put your clay in there and you roll this back and forth and it creates um, shapes. So we have a square, like an oval, and a circle shape. So I'm going to have to play with this a little bit more and see how, how we make that work. I got some of these little Christmas lights. I have some, but they were more traditional colors and these ones um, are a little different, but I think if you look like the paint job isn't amazing. Not on all of them, maybe just that one on. This one looks like it's kind of like chipped off. So it's just a couple and they're out home. So I mean they're not the greatest. You could like strategically place them so you're not gonna see that. I don't know. I got some little bows. It's like sometimes you win win with getting the random colors and sometimes not so much. Cause there's like a lot of yellow in here. Like I love like this teal color and this nice pretty pink um, but there's a lot of yellow in here but I think that you could paint this um, and recolor it there's not a whole lot of detail so I think that you'd be able to do that just fine 
Yeah, like one black one. I don't have any white ones. So I could just kind of paint those white if I really wanted to. Um, I also got a wax pencil over here. Um, these are just for picking up rhinestones and stuff. I do have like some of these and I have some other cheap ones, but I feel like this one's great. Um, but I like the pencil itself better. So I don't know. I think it was like 89 cents. So a couple more things. Yeah. So I got some black beads. They're matte. They're like um what do they call like the pumpkin type of bead. So just those. Picked up some of those. I picked up so these are technically barrettes, and I don't know if I'm going to try to make it into something else or not. So these are also knives, and they're on the bigger side, um, but I thought that I might be able to do something with them. So they, they have like this like alligator type of clip on the back, and it doesn't seem super stable. Um, so I think I'm going to try to turn it into something else or take this off and just use it as some kind of like add it into one of my embellishments or something like that. I think that's what my thought process was when I ordered it. Um, I also got some little Christmas trees. I thought maybe there was be more Christmas in here, but I think I thought I'd wait until I got back from vacation to put in a Christmas order. So I have these like little Christmas trees. They're okay. I don't really care for the base. It's kind of like a, a bright orange. I'd probably paint that gold or brown. So I'll probably take some gold paint and um, just paint those. But they are cute. I thought that they would be cute little embellishments. Um, and then I got another clay cutter, like cookie cutter. So this one is ghost faced. I've hauled a ghost one and I haven't even had a chance to play with it. So I'm ordering something else, but this is a two parter. So you have the white face and then the back, the black background, if you would. Um, yeah, they're just 3d printed. I, I need to just break down and buy a 3d printer so I can print my own but I they weren't super expensive by any means so and they come in their own cute little case so I think that is all that's all that's in my bag oh I did <laughs> forgot these are off to the side I, I did get some creepy teeth what I'm gonna do with these I'm not a hundred percent sure I don't know if I'm gonna use them in like some kind of creepy doll um I'm not sure I know that this is really weird, but again, I'm in a horror swap. I like horror movie type of things. So I thought that I might be able to do something with these. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I can or not. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll play around with them. Um, you know, maybe add them into a stuffed animal. I don't know. But that is my Timu haul. It wasn't huge. It was very random. A little bit of everything. Um. But I'll probably be doing a Christmas one re uh, relatively soon so I can get some Christmas supplies for some Christmas paper crafting. So until later, guys, I'll see you in the next video.